Okay, in this third lesson, uh, what we're doing is looking at uh, subtracting vectors. All right, so um, what we do is the technique we use rather than trying to subtract them like algebraically or something like that, um, what we do is we, we write a vector subtraction in terms of addition all right so if you're in the notes there so we first write in terms of addition so if we've got a minus b then what we do is we express that in the following and again this is in your notes it's like adding the negative of b so negative b of course is uh, same size has b um, but it, what it is in opposite direction all right so and again that's the opposite is um, missing in your notes there so it's that bit there all right so if i've got b there as a vector then negative b would be that vector pointing the opposite direction all right so now i'm being lazy here by not putting the vector symbols on these but of course remember they are vectors so for example this one here it says to find a minus b all right so vector a is this particular one vector b is that one so what we need to do is we need to say that a minus b is the same as a plus negative b and so negative b is this green vector pointing the opposite direction uh, exactly the same length and opposite direction 180 degrees so now what we're going to do is a plus negative b so a plus negative b of course is it down there vector a it goes that way and negative b and if we're adding we put head to tail so this is why we wrote it in terms of addition because addition it's very simple we just go head to tail and we're adding negative b it's a bit of a wobble of negative b all right so then from the start to our finish that one there that's vector a minus vector b all right so typically we subtract vectors and again this is in in your notes here um, typically we we subtract when we have a change and we were in some quantity or more specifically a vector quantity All right, so in your notes there, that word change is the one missing in the red. So, and then a couple of examples of there is change in position. Um, in your notes, delta x, delta meaning change in, change in position is the final minus the initial, which you think is because they're vectors. It's the final plus the negative of the initial of their vectors. And similarly, if you want your change in, because that'll be a vector velocity, so we want our final minus our, whoops, wrong symbol, so velocity, not position, minus our initial, which again is our final plus the negative against wrong symbol the negative of the initial all right so let's have a look at a couple of examples all right this one here a ball is thrown at a wall with velocity of five meters per second east 
it ran up, rebounds with a velocity of 3.5 metres per second. West find its change in velocity. All right, so remember that change in velocity is our final plus the negative of our initial. All right, so if we use uh, east, so this is one way of doing it, as the positive direction, then our final velocity, which is 3.5 metres west, <clears throat> west is opposite to east, so that would be negative 3.5 metres per second, and our initial, which is the uh, 5 metres per second east, and east is in the positive direction, so that's 5 metres per second. So our change in velocity is the final, minus 3.5, minus, uh, plus the negative of the initial, so negative 5, which is minus 8.5 metres per second. And, of course, because negative is west, right, if east is positive, ne negative is west, so our change in velocity is 8.5 metres per second west. All right. So if it's just linear in a straight line, you can use that technique by assigning one direction as positive and the other as negative. Which, and that's fine for as long as something's moving just along the line in one dimension. But if we go to two dimensions, um, we have to do something a little bit different. All right, so here's uh, an example. Freddie's riding his bike 6.9 metres per second in a northerly direction. He turns the corner and is now hurtling in the westerly direction at 8.3. Find his change in velocity. All right, so first of all, I'm going to sign up the page there is north and uh, what we know is that the change in velocity is the final plus the negative of the initial. So originally he's riding his bike in a northerly direction and then he turns the corner so his initial is 6.9 metres per second north, which then leads us to the negative VI being 6.9 metres per second south. All right, then his, <coughs> excuse me, his final velocity is the westerly direction at 8.3. So VF equals 8.3 metres per second in the westerly direction. All right. And so it's VF plus negative VI. So VF is this one. And we're adding negative VI, which is that one. So if we're using our... Um, north, south, east and west and we're adding so final plus the negative of the initial plus head to tail so the final which is uh, 8.3 to the west plus head to tail um, negative VI so that's 6.9 south and so the change in velocity is this orange one. I think in the notes I've used a Y to represent that. Now we also, because it's a vector, and even though I haven't put the vector signs, again, been lazy, it's a vector, we need a direction as well. So the direction that I'm going to look at is this one in here. 
All right, so first of all, our old friend Pythagoras, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so delta v squared equals 8.3 squared plus 6.9 squared. Square those numbers and you get 68.89 and 47.6, uh, 47.61. Add those together and you get 116.5. Now I want delta v, I want the change in the velocity, so I've got a square root. That And when I do that I get 10.79 metres per second to um, two decimal places. Alright, so because as I said before we need to know a an angle, and so in the notes there I've used called that x. So if we want to find x, we use trigonometry, we've got the opposite and the adjacent, so that's our usual tan. So to find angle x, it's tan minus 1 of the opposite over the adjacent. Just going back and checking, the opposite is 6.9, so 6.9 over 8.3. And when you do that on your calculator, we get 39.7 degrees. All right, so our change in velocity then is 10.79 metres per second. We've then got to put the direction. Now, physics, they're not overly superly fussy. So this angle X is measured between our east, uh, well, sorry, our westerly direction, that's our 8.3 vector, and towards the south. So in physics, they're not overly fussy, so we can go west, 39.7, towards the south. All right, um, and that's fine. If you don't like that, you can figure out the south and the west, so 90 minus the 39.7. All right, is 50.3, so 50.3 degrees, so south 50 point three degrees to the west. Alright, so either of those is fine for our direction. Alright, again I've been lazy, should have the change in the velocity with the symbols. Alright, so that's subtraction um, and so there's problem set there which has subtraction of vectors uh, practice for you. Um, so it's your task now. Any questions, anything you weren't sure of make sure you ask.